The UP is known for getting some of the largest snowfalls in the U.S. Local 3's Isaiah Williams has advice about how to get your body ready for shoveling season. It's never too late to start any form of exercise regimen or routine. Um, it, it may or may not have an impact on your ability to shovel the snow this season, um, but do it now, get ready, and, uh, and, and get ready for next season. It's an activity that could take hours. It can be exhausting and hard. Dan Young at Black Fi CrossFit shows us the kind of strength it takes to move a shovel. When you shovel the snow, brace, bend at the knees, pick up the snow with your legs. Don't throw it over your shoulder and twist. Walk it to your disposal area and step into it and dump it. Young says when shoveling snow, keeping everything stable is key. Bracing the core is, uh, is the most important thing. Uh, obviously, whenever you pick something up, you would never pick it up with your back. You would keep your core straight, bend at the knees, pick it up, and keep everything here stable. When it comes to surviving a winter in the UP, strength isn't all about brute force. B. Emily Reynolds, the owner of Rohana Yoga, says it's also about mental health. It's really important to connect with others um, in the winter to just ward off the blues and um, there's just uh, something really powerful about being part of a community, coming to a yoga class, moving and breathing with people. Julia Kettle, a yoga instructor at Rohana, shows us how to keep our joints active through the winter. And the joints are really important um, in the body because they hold um, stagnant energy and so when the colder months come, um, things like to get stuck in there. So if we're having achy joints, um, we really just want to get the breath moving through the body. Kettle says it's essential to focus on your breathing through any form of workouts. It creates space in the body, and so that allows um, a significant blood flow to just move naturally. And it's very important to um, focus on the breath and um, just allow it to move naturally. Reporting in Marquette, I'm Isaiah Williams, Local 3 News.